What's up everybody? You best buckle up because you're about to check out a life-changing and earth-shattering Japanese curry. So you voted on where I should jam food down my throat. Your voice was heard, so now I'm gonna head on over to Go Go Curry. To be honest, I'm pretty excited that Go Go won. Real excited. Truth be told, ever since I saw that buck wild Go Go menu, I've been consumed with an intense desire to feed the fucking need. So let's take another look at this menu here. The first choice is the standard pork cutlet. What else we got here? Next up, we got some kind of combo meal. We've got a pork cutlet with some shrimp, egg, and sausage action. Next up, looks like the same exact thing, only here we got two and a half kgs worth. Now this seems to be the meatless version, and there's no way in hell I'm gonna get that one. Now this right here is the chicken cutlet version, doesn't look too shabby. And among the last two, we've got a shrimp curry and a sausage curry. Anyway, after taking a look at that menu, I waltzed on into that go-go like I owned the place. I jammed that bill deep inside that ticket machine with a sense of pride and purpose. I was feeling like I was in a no-frills, back-to-the-basics, no-bullshit mood, so I decided to go for that number one meal, the pork cutlet meal. So like a hunger-crazed homo sapien on a hiatus, I grabbed that change and ticket. Then I boosted on over to my chair in a frenzy of anticipation. So the second I sat down at that counter, I could see there was a flurry of activity going on in that back kitchen. We had staff jumping around left and right, deep frying food, cutting up pork, and going apeshit trying to get the food ready as fast as possible. I started smelling all these delicious curry smells wafting through the air and I started to feel tense as fuck. I thought, man, if that curry doesn't come out soon, I'm gonna explode into a hunger-crazed rampage. I poured myself a glass of water to take my mind off things, but I kinda wish I was pouring myself a glass of whiskey. Anyway, as soon as that curry came out, my mind must have went on autopilot because I just started to shovel pickled vegetables on top of that puppy like a wild man. Now I gotta say, I have no fucking clue what that vegetable is, but it's looking mighty fine on top of that pork cutlet. And wow, just wow, nice fucking piece of fried meat right there. Now, I don't know much about the pig I'm about to eat, but one thing's for sure. That fine motherfucking swine met a glorious end. I might even go as far as to say as he met an admirable end. So I grabbed a strip of that pork and jammed it down my throat. And holy shit, the second that pork touched my tongue must have ignited some kind of primal instinct. I started slamming food back with the wild ferocity of a mad bull in heat. Long story short, in some small way, I lost my mind. I mean, I've had my fair share of pork cutlets in my day, don't get me wrong, baby cakes. It ain't my first time around the block, let's just put it that way. But somehow, some way, this pork cutlet touched my heart and reinvigorated my soul. What I'm trying to say is that pork cutlet was fried to perfection and that curry sauce was oishi as hell. In other words, nice fucking Japanese curry right there. Anyway, that was a damn good meal and the rest of the time was kind of a blur, but I will say this, I highly recommend that place. So what do you think? Where should I eat next? Choice one is Gindako, which is a famous takoyaki chain restaurant. What's takoyaki, you ask? They're pretty much buck wild balls of fried dough with fixins on top and octopus inside. Personally, I'm not a big octopus fan, but I sure do love me some good takoyaki. And now for your second choice, the Bard Beer Tap Room in Harajuku, Tokyo. You see, about a month and a half ago, I met up with two badass subscribers who introduced me to Bard Beer. I had their Rising Sun beer, and I must say, it may just be the best microbrewed beer I've had in Japan. So ever since then, I've been chomping at the bit to try some more Bard Beer varieties, and I think this is the perfect place to do it. And now for your third and final choice, we have Tempura Tendon Tenya. 
basically this place serves up tempura based meals i've never been here before but it's looking pretty nice i might even go as far as to say as it's looking real nice let's be honest here people it's hard to go wrong with breaded fried vegetables and shrimp i mean if those plastic food models are looking delectable as fuck just imagine how good the food's gonna look so feel free to vote on my next chow destination by clicking the link in the description box and as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.